rot. We stand with standing rock. The impact of progress leads to a protest today at UNLV. The issue, an oil pipeline that many feel would run too close to the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe and their land. 13 Action News reporter David Schumann has more on the show of solidarity. Water, not oil. Water, not oil. A small group of students passionate for their cause made their voices heard Tuesday at UNLV. We can't drink oil. Keep it in the soil. Isabel Varela is just weeks into her first college semester, and she's wasted no time getting involved. She was here to help stop the construction of an oil pipeline from North Dakota to Illinois. Uh, matters everywhere because just because it's over there, we are all one. We're all together. We are, we are the people. This is their issue. The pipeline route comes close to the Standing Rock Sioux Indian Reservation. Too close, the tribe says. It says the pipeline would disturb sacred land as well as put their drinking water at risk. The relentless chanting did its job. Students walking through here turned their heads and several even stopped to ask questions and learn more. I just thought it was like, oh, it was just another protest, but it's actually something very serious. It's actually kind of cool to see, you know, how many people stand for issues around the world. Like, um, like you said, back in high school, I, we never really see much of protesters, things like this. The anti-pipeline side gained a small victory last week when the government put construction on pause, but a federal judge denied the tribe's request to stop altogether. Until that pause becomes permanent, the volume here <laughs> will stay turned to 11. It just got louder. That's great. It's pumping me up. At UNLV, David Schumann, 13 Action News.